Foundation Building Blocks, Chapter 5, The Christian Landmarks. The next covenant between God and man came from the desire of God to have communion with him from their hearts. God's desire to covenant a promised land as a possession to his people, his chosen people, if they would have him as their Lord. This covenant was between God and Abram, or Abraham, and to his seed after him. This covenant also had a token, as did the covenant with Noah and with all flesh. This token was in the flesh of man, specifically circumcision. Let's turn to Genesis chapter 15. Genesis chapter 15, verses 1 through 6. After these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. And Abram said, Lord God, what wilt thou give me, seeing I go childless? And the steward of my house is this Eliezer of Damascus. And Abram said, Behold, to me thou hast given no seed, and lo, the one born in my house is mine heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him, saying, This shall not be thine heir. But he that shall come forth of thine own bowels shall be thine heir. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now toward heaven and tell the stars if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. And he believed in the Lord and he counted it unto him for righteousness. Let's look at the story as it progresses. Genesis chapter 17. Genesis chapter 17, verses 1 through 27. And when Abram was ninety years old and nine, the Lord appeared unto Abram and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. And I will make a covenant between me and thee and will multiply thee exceedingly. And Abram fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying, as for me, behold, my covenant is with thee, and thou shalt be a father of many nations. Neither shall thy name be called Abram, but thy name shall be called Abraham, for a father of many nations have I made thee. And I will make thee exceeding fruitful, and I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee, and thy seed after thee, in their generations, for an everlasting covenant, to be a God unto thee, and to thy seed after thee. And I will give unto thee, and to thy seed after thee, the land wherein thou art a stranger, all the land of Canaan, for an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. And God said unto Abraham, Thou shalt keep my covenant, therefore thou and thy seed after thee in their generations. This is my covenant, which ye shall keep between me and you and thy seed after thee. Every man child among you shall be circumcised, and they shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin, and it shall be a token of the covenant betwixt me and you. And he that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you, every man child in your generations. He that is born in thy house, or bought with money of any stranger, which is not of thy seed. He that is born in thy house, and he that is bought with thy money, must needs be circumcised. And my covenant shall be in your flesh for an everlasting covenant. And the uncircumcised man-child, whose flesh of this foreskin is not circumcised, that soul shall be cut off from his people. He hath broken my covenant. And God said unto Abraham, As for Sarai, thy wife, thou shalt not call her name Sarai, but Sarah shall be her name. And I will bless her and give thee a son also of her. Yea, I will bless her, and she shall be a mother of nations. Kings of people shall be of her. Then Abram fell upon his face and laughed and said in his heart, Shall a child be born unto him that is an hundred years old? And shall Sarah that is ninety years old bear? 
And Abraham said unto God, O oh, that Ishmael might live before thee. And God said, Sarah thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac. And I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant, and with his seed after him. As for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Behold, I have blessed him, and will make him fruitful, and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he beget, and I will make him a great nation. But my covenant will I establish with Isaac, which Sarah shall bear unto thee at this set time in the next year. And he left off talking with him, and God went up from Abraham. And Abraham took Ishmael his son, and all that were born in his house, and all that were bought with his money, every male among the men of Abraham's house, and circumcised the flesh of their foreskin in that self same day, as God had said unto him. And Abraham was ninety years old and nine, when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. And Ishmael his son was thirteen years old when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. And the selfsame day was Abraham circumcised and Ishmael his son. And all the men of his house, born in the house and bought with the money of a stranger, were circumcised with him. The covenant with Abraham was that God promised the land throughout the generations, as long as Abraham and his seed kept God as their Lord. This is the covenant of God with Abraham.